for the first time in more than three months, we are setting foot in a multiplayer server here in the Hunter Call of the Wild. It has been since at least the Riven to the Coast release since we've been in a multiplayer server, and I'm just excited to jump back in here today and see if we can find anything cool. And of course, what better map to come back to than Verhunga Savannah? We actually just streamed it on Friday stream, and it turned out to be a lot of fun. It seems like lions are far more prominent now with the population reset and redistribution that happened all the way back at the end of June with the Ribbon Tilly release. And I think that is cool. They were very kind of localized to just hunting them in their drink time for the most part. You would see them early in the morning sometimes when they were feeding, but otherwise, often they'd just be resting in places where you wouldn't encounter them. So I do enjoy just randomly seeing them as we're hunting around for other things. And maybe that helps in the search for another rare female lion, despite the fact that we haven't hunted for Hunga much in the last probably six months or more. That is still high on my list of things that I want to get for our Trophy Lodge. As for this guy though, starting out, not a rare or a very big one. Level 5, double lung though at 343 meters. Not a bad deal there. And they do look quite nice in the Harvest Screen now, so that's definitely a plus. And we will just kind of continue on from here. I'm hoping to get a look at kind of everything on the map today. We do have the 243 handgun with us as well. Still no diamond with that, maybe we can change that today in the process. Lots of species actually out here that that can happen with. From kudu to warthog, even to things like wildebeest, there's plenty of opportunity if we can find the right species. Now this was a change that we had already looked at. Wildebeest drink from, I think it's 6 to 9.30 now on Verhunga. And I can't even remember if that was with the Reventuli update or if that was from before, but in situations like this with just a level 4 wildebeest with no shot of being a diamond, that will be taking with the 30 odd 6, and I'd like to say that was a hard shot, but the odd bug still exists with wildebeest where you can shoot well below the spinal cord, but still get a spinal cord hit. And I guess some things never change. We may have changes to textures, we may have changes to drink times, that still is a thing that can happen. In this case though, we actually did get the proper hard shot, so Good deal there, a 36.6 score. And we'll head on to our next area. No way. It is just a female, but an albino kudu just walking along down there about 300 meters out. Naturally, as soon as we take the scope out, it is trotting, but we'll try to get a shot in there whenever it is available. Probably going to slow down as soon as it gets into the trees, but... There are gaps in there where we may be able to get a shot, maybe right through there. That'll do. Pretty decent shot there from the 30 odd 6, but that's pretty neat. I actually don't know that we've shot a rare female kudu maybe at all since the multi mouse were added. I mean, that was a long time ago. I really don't think we have, though, because we had a couple of melanistic males. I'm not sure we've even had like a big albino male. We shot an albino Trek one grinding for a second diamond, but I don't know that we have the space for it. That really would make for a nice multi mount. We'll have to think about it. Maybe there's something we could take out. Not anything immediately has come into mind, but I'll have to check and see. That could end up ultimately becoming a main lodge edition. And honestly, I don't know why it is, but. Verhunga rares are always just special. I think, I don't know if the Kudu got a texture update or not, but it definitely looks a little nicer than they used to. Pretty cool, 84 kg, so decent sized female. They could actually get up to like 100 or maybe even better. Barely got a long shot, not that it matters with them. But that's pretty neat, we'll definitely tax that. Maybe, as I said, will find its way into the main lodge. We'll have to probably shift things around, but there's a I guess pretty good example of why it's sometimes nice to go into multiplayer. Now that guy over there could have a little bit of a shot. It's in such a weird place and the 243 pistol is good. I'm not sure on the highest class animal it can take that we want to take an angle like that. Now if he ends up broadside here, 300-ish meters, I'm really not afraid to shoot with this gun. Just kind of need him to settle. So. That's not going to work. What may work, though, is alerting him with the 22. That shot should do it. 
So let's see if he'll actually cooperate and offer a shot, because that is probably not something I want to try. It's a little bit too risky even for a level 4. One day we'll get a more kind of favorable angle. Now I mentioned earlier about the lions and the likelihood of just encountering them as you're going along. We've seen this as well, but the Cape Buffalo changes and those being much more kind of spread out across the map, that also I find to be quite cool. We still I don't think have run into a level 9 since they've changed that. Obviously haven't run into a rare either, and if you want to hunt them in their drink zones they are still absolutely everywhere along the entire coast. But the ability to find them out like this, I do think is pretty neat, so could go with the higher level or the brown fur type. I think we'll go for the brown one, especially since it is a slightly better angle. And that should be enough, even with a little bit of tracking, to bring that down from the 300. And that has done at least a halfway decent job of bringing us to our next spot. I don't know if we've seen the brown fur type cape buffalo in the new harvest screen, but that looks quite nice in there. But I'm not even sure if Wildebeest drink down here. I kind of think they might. It used to be an area that there were a lot of them, so I wanted to check it. Now, it could just be that we're kind of at the very end of Wildebeest drink time, but the only thing I'm seeing over here is a bunch of warthogs, and there's a couple of males at level 4 maybe worth trying to take out. I actually didn't pay attention to the range, but I'm assuming 300 ish should be fine. He is slowing down right there. And we'll kind of favor high a little bit. I wonder, was it too high or was it too far back? Don't even know if that shot hit, to be honest. He's going down. We may have very well hit him in the vertebrae. It's tough to say 30 out 6 is kind of powerful for a warthog, and I guess the way we're shooting now, we'll just have to go see with the one shot. I'm just kind of looking. I mean, maybe we favored too high? It kind of seemed like that would have been correct. 282 though, so clearly we weren't standing where I thought, or maybe we're far closer now to where we were standing than where the Warthog was, but 282 meters, that pretty much perfectly explains the shot height, but at best we would have been looking at livers, so still not ideal. Likely just a random level 4, nothing to worry about. It definitely is still kind of location specific. But if you're in the right areas, there are lots of lions just kind of consistently up and moving. This female's doing the same thing, but a level 6 male is a little better than the one from earlier. And I think this time we saw the range was like 250 or somewhere in that area. So we don't want to make the same mistake as we did with the Warthog. And probably it'll just be easier to aim high 0 for 150. That should be along, I think. And then somewhere out ahead of it, which it probably will spook. At least it went alert. I think we might try to get that gold wildebeest as well. So, gotta make that kind of quick due to the fact that he was about to move. I actually don't know. He was starting to drop? I'm not sure where we hit him. We got close to hitting the skull, but if he's starting to lose health already, that can't be what we hit. We may have got a vital hit there. It's down actually not too far from where the lion went down. He is a golden fact at 44.3. The models just, they really pop with that harvest screen. And it's not even new anymore. I believe that was with Revan Tuli. It still just continues to impress me, I guess. However many years it's been since Frahunka, I think three, almost four. When you start to see something that different, even several times it takes a while to get used to it. But I am most intrigued to see what happened here. Medium bleed rate. I think that was a lung shot. Right lung at 387. Not as close to the head as I thought. He may have taken a step right as we pulled the trigger. I kind of thought I saw that, but I'm not too sure. Either way, kind of a cool shot to make. Well, sadly, we've actually had to switch to single player for the last bit of our hunt. We are continuing to fail to synchronize, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to show what I wanted to show unless we could stay on the map for a little while. So. Basically, there is what I believe to be a kind of new lion hotspot. It's always been a lake where lions drank, but now it seems to be really good. And you can see based on the hunting pressure, we shot quite a few on the stream when we visited here on Friday. So this is going to be just a little bonus kill probably on his way in. I can only assume because we just started up in single player that maybe he's a little late getting into his zone, but 
one of what I assume to be quite a few down here. We've got a level 7 down in there, which we may attempt to take. We've got to be careful with hunting pressure. We did delete one zone up in here. That one should be okay, though. And before he tries to trot or anything like that, in fact, I think he just did as we fired, but maybe got back in the lungs or something. Should be all good. So that's going to be two males already from here. We could hear another one there, another six. I think we'll probably let that go. This guy made gold. Almost the exact same score as before. But it is from about where our level seven went down that I wanted to actually take a look around. So real quick, a 45.51, but you can actually see, even though it kind of looks like he's levitating or something, he's just about to trot when we took the shot and we got further back in the lungs than we would have intended, but still worked out. If we look across here though, we have at least three there. Level six male, a female, and another level six male. It's worth remembering that we already shot two from down here and spooked another one, so that would be a total of six. And if we look on the map, we shot, it looks like probably two here and one in here from the live stream. And my guess is deleting that zone is probably the reason we don't see any over in here. But there were probably 10 or so when we first came here, still six now despite shooting a bunch and deleting a zone. And I kind of think that if we do continue with our lion grind, this could be a spot to really work with. Now, it's mostly males, which for most people's grinds would be good. For our purposes, mostly looking for a rare female, maybe not so much, but even still, a spot to come and check every now and then, whether it is looking for bonus rare males, bonus diamonds, or anything like that. I most definitely heard a lion kinda up to our left here, so there should have been at least seven at the lake somewhere, so, quite honestly, to a degree, this particular spot was kind of the inspiration for this video. And I wanted to get here earlier, but between no multiplayer servers even close to the proper time and getting disconnected from any that kind of got close, ended up coming here in single player. And I do actually think, if not for the deleted zones and the fact that we just shot like six lions from here recently, we probably would have seen even more. And that was partially why I wanted to do multiplayer. I thought maybe we could see that effect there with a lake that hadn't just been uh, visited and had a bunch of lions shot, but either way, still was a cool hunt, still got an albino kudu, and still got a pretty good look at what is definitely a really good spot for the lions. But we'll go back to the lodge. We will at least take a look and see if maybe we can work a kudu multi-mount in. Gonna be interesting because as of now, we only have the two true rack diamond kudu. I'll be honest though, I just don't see anything that I'd like to take down. Everything that we have displayed right now is something else that we've worked really hard for. And as much as I like the idea of the Kudu multi-mount, as is, I don't think we're going to do that today. Maybe in the future if we move things around and especially should we get a third Truax Diamond Kudu that could allow us to not have to take one of these guys down off the wall. It could be something we try, but I think we'll just jump to the second lodge for now. So that's not to say we won't be making a multi-mount today. Actually throwing both of the albinos together I thought would be a pretty neat idea. Especially if we got an albino gold. And who knows what's waiting on our map now. It was reset and we've only been to it maybe twice since then. There could be some kind of crazy initial spawn thing like that waiting on us. But pretty cool to make that. Pretty cool to get a multi-mount like that together with two albinos. For all the time that that's been available... I don't think we ever accomplished that. We had albinos from pre-Trophy Lodge days, and probably we had an albino male since Trophy Lodges, I'm not 100% sure of that other than the Truex one, but even still, finally got it done today and I do think it looks pretty cool. Maybe it can be something we incorporate into the main lodge eventually, but that is going to do it for this video. No 243 diamond today, but a little albino kudu for something neat on our first trip back in multiplayer. So. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.